Published, 1927 Eastern Standard Time, 7 March 2018. Updated, 1927 Eastern Standard Time, 7 March 2018. Twelve months ago, even the idea of debating Scott Sinclair's inclusion in an old firm game would have seemed faintly preposterous. His dynamic debut season at Celtic, garlanded with Player of the Year accolades, was underpinned by repeated destructions of their cross-city rivals. A goal scorer in four of the five victories over Rangers, Sinclair did as much as anyone to highlight the supremacy of Brendan Rodgers' side. There is a different perception this time around. Despite scoring 17 goals across all competitions, the winger's form has been indisputably patchy during the past six months. Celtic winger Scott Sinclair is hoping for another fruitful trip to Ibrox on Sunday last weekend. His half-time replacement Odson Edouard actually kicked Celtic into life during their Scottish Cup quarter-final against Morton. Edouard applied the final seal to a 3-0 victory after Moussa Dembele struck twice. Such was the transformation that it begged the question of whether Rodgers might now hand Edouard an old firm debut and reprise the all-French partnership when the champions seek to quash talk of a genuine title race this Sunday. Andy Walker thinks not. He believes the magnitude of the Ibrox encounter, surely the most unpredictable and fascinating match-up for several years, will prompt a reliance on those who have delivered on derby days in the past. With two goals in three appearances on enemy turf, Sinclair falls firmly into that category. I think Celtic will revert to type, to what has served them well at Ibrox, said former Celtic striker Walker. Who will cover Sunday's match for Sky Sports? I think they will play with a back four and with Sinclair as one of the three attacking players behind Dembele. Sinclair hasn't been great this season. His numbers are still impressive but he is nowhere near the sparkling player we saw last season. Celtic winger Sinclair has had the beating of Rangers since joining the Hoops in 2016. Even so, he has done well at Ibrox and he still has great ability. The manager will probably trust him to come up with a performance in such an important game. Sinclair will likely be going up against James Tavernier, who I think has arguably been Rangers' most effective player this season. He has been terrific, that will make it a real test, but I think this is an environment where Sinclair has to show he is worthy. He must be one of the best paid players at the club. There's no doubt his level of performance has fallen away. But he's got to be fired up to go to Ibrox. He's got to be fired up to hear how confident Rangers are. I don't think Brendan Rodgers will go with two strikers. It is obviously an option at some point, but I think he'll go with a formula that has worked so well at Ibrox. Either Marvin Compa or Jack Hendry could be in line to make their derby bow at the back with Celtic's defensive options limited by the suspension to Mikhail Lustig. Walker, though, predicts both Edouard and Chelsea Loney Charlie Musonda will be kept as potential impact substitutes. There is obviously a lot more to come from Edouard, he added. With Musonda, I am surprised he hasn't played more often. Sinclair slots home in a victory for Celtic over their arch-rivals in September the 2016. You look at the fanfare around his signing and it was viewed as a special capture. Celtic rolled out shirt number 67 for him, but his only big moment has been setting up Callum McGregor against Zenit. Apart from that, he has not had a lot of game time. There is no doubting his ability, but he is not more effective than James Forrest, who has to play. Musonda looks to me like a player who needs a free role and someone like McGregor has a greater understanding of how Celtic play and what is required. Tom Rogic could also play in that area but McGregor has scored big goals against Rangers and in Europe, Rangers have the opportunity to cut Celtic's advantage to three points, albeit with the leaders holding a game in hand. While Walker still expects his former club to claim a seventh successive title by whatever route, he is impressed by how Graham Mercy has revitalized the Ibrox outfit. I still think Celtic have better players and are a better team, argued Walker. But they have to show it. It's going to be a really fascinating game, for the first time in a long time Rangers will really fancy their chances. There is an air of confidence there now. And I like the look of them as a team, they are more consistent and scoring more goals. Jamie Murphy is an excellent player and there are threats from Josh Windass, Alfredo Morelos and Daniel Candias, whose work rate is terrific. Defensively, I think David Bates coming in has been a big boost for them. In midfield, Scott Brown has just bullied so many Rangers players over the last number of years. He is now up against someone in Sean Goss who has a good range of passing. And Greg Doherty has the energy, drive and competitive spirit to make it good contest. There is the hint of a title race and there absolutely will be if Rangers win.
But if Celtic go to Ibrox and beat them then that puts pay to any talk of a challenge. If I had to hang my hat on something, I still think Celtic have enough experience, ability and big game players. Saying that, I wouldn't be surprised if Rangers took all three points. And I would have been astonished by that outcome in the previous games. Asterisk Andy Walker will be co-commentator beside Ian Crocker for Sky Sports coverage of Sunday's noon kickoff at Ibrox. Match will be screened live on Sky Sports Football, with a build-up beginning at 11.30am.